I learned today at, at the courthouse that it was not only alcohol, but there was drugs involved. No amount of time will do justice for DJ and Amelia. Two young lives are taken after court documents state that an Elgin man was driving drunk and blew through a red light. The crash happened over the weekend in Hoffman Estates, and now we are learning more about the teens who were killed. Casey Crone is live from Schaumburg High School with the very latest tonight. Casey. Corey and John, both 18 years old, the victims had just graduated from Schaumburg High School last month and were getting ready to embark on their next chapters. I've shed my tears and said my many, many, many prayers. For Amelia Mazikis and Deshaun Tudela, who went by DJ, an ordinary Saturday morning turned deadly. While on their way to work, just before 9 a.m., their car was struck at Higgins and Barrington Roads. Both teens were transported to area hospitals, but didn't survive. 32-year-old Denny Rubio is being held on a $2 million bail in connection with their deaths. He's facing five felonies, including DUI, reckless homicide, and trying to disarm a peace officer. Loved ones say the teens were dating. A spokesperson with District 211 said, in part, that both graduates were individuals with bright futures ahead of them. He had an aspiration to go into culinary arts. I'm going to miss being able to have that one-on-one -on -one time with him in the kitchen. DJ's mom, Crystal Tudela, says she was out of town when she received the life-altering phone call and is now sharing how she wants her son to be remembered. And I do hope that people know the impact he had on everyone's lives, that people pay it forward. He, he was always inviting, always open. He never judged, and, and that was the beauty in Deshaun. He never judged others. He just accepted. And here at the high school, grief counselors are available for students and staff. That suspect is due back in court next month. Reporting live in Schaumburg, Casey Cronus, Fox 32, Chicago.